Hello. I think that I'm live. I have a whole new setup here for my videos and I'm still learning the ropes, you guys. <clears throat> Give me a minute here to log on to my Facebook page. I want to make sure that I can see everything you guys are posting and your questions, your comments, your likes and your loves so that I can engage with you. Let's see here. Hey, there I am. Awesome. I've got one person watching. That might be me. <laughs> I'm going to mute this. Okay, I'm hoping that you can hear me okay. Yes, it sounds like I'm doing okay. All right. Well, welcome to my lunchtime live. Um, I have been stamping on my lunches since I am working from home as a way to get a little creativity in the middle of my day and break up my day. And I've been thinking, how fun would it be to get to stamp with you? Let me... Just adjust that so it's not uh, blowing in my face as I'm talking to you. Um, so today I have got a really super fun project to show you using our designer series paper and I'm going to be using let me see what it's called I forget the name of the stuff the paper I'm using is called magic in this night designer series paper we're going to make some adorable Halloween cards. I'm super excited for that. Um, I think you're really going to like that. So um, welcome to my lunchtime live. As you pop in, say hello. Um, if you are catching the replay, um, comment replay. I love to see who's able to catch me live and who's catching the replay and connect with all of you. Hi, Winnie. It's nice to see you again. I'm glad you could catch me live today. I think you are really going to love what I um, am putting together. Now, remember, I do a prize drawing every week, and you can win by sharing my video. So if you are watching me on your Facebook page, I think in the bottom right-hand corner should be a button that says share click that button, share to your Facebook page so that um, I can inspire the creativity of your friends and family. I'm super, super, super passionate about um, helping people to be creative. I love stamping with new friends. And um, I want to enter you into a prize drawing for a fabulous prize. Um, they're really good, the share prizes. So um, if you click share, that would be awesome. And some of you have some privacy settings that prevent me from seeing that you shared my post. So it helps me if you also comment shared when you're done. So that way I can match up the ones that I'm not able to see who's shared um, with the comments that say, hey, I shared. Um, and I can always kind of tie it back together with the number of people who have shared my posts. Um... The other thing I want to tell you about is there are two links above this video in the description. Um, one of them is my shop link to my online store, and I've included my host code there for you. I want to let you know that I am sending out a free embellishment gift for everyone who orders places in order under that host code of $50 or more. If your order is over $150, do not use that code because you'll get some hostess benefits um, for an order of that size, and I don't want you to miss out on that. I will still see that you placed an order, and I'll make sure to send you your gift. So that's the first thing. That is the second link that's up above there. Um, the other thing I want to note is that there is a link for a door prize form up there too. And um, for that door prize form, you are filling it out for a chance to win this card kit, which um, is a kit to make. Let me count how many are in here, you guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty
So it's six cards. Everything's in here to make six cards. They are the card layouts that I am um, showing you today. So you'll just have to go back to this video to watch the instructions. Um, I'll send it to your home. You can make it um, when you get some time. And I have two of those to give away. So make sure you fill out that link for my door prize drawing form. And I will draw those uh, next week in my live. So um, I am... Just checking my notes because listen I'm super scatterbrained I'm doing this in the middle of my work day I want to make sure I don't forget to tell you about anything going on um, that's about it um, okay so as you pop on remember say hello tell me what you've been up to this week John and I spent the weekend up north oh my gosh you guys the colors are absolutely gorgeous I love fall I'm so excited that fall is here I posted some pictures um, on my page so make sure you check them out you are going to be stunned by the fall colors um, by our property up in the upper peninsula of Michigan um, I am also finishing up I want to show you what I've been making let me grab it here I have been finishing up some adorable treat boxes or, oh, there's a little blur here because of my background. I'll adjust that next time. I'll show it when I flip it around. Um, some treat boxes for my team at work. Oh my gosh, they're super cute. I've been playing with blends and um, I'm absolutely loving what you can do with the Stampin' Blends. I have to be honest with you, I have been a little bit hesitant to do much more with the blends other than the lights and the darks. And I got a little braver and started experimenting with blending multiple colors and you guys it is gorgeous um, I can't wait to show you what I've done with them <clears throat> I see some more people watching make sure you say hello when you pop on I also give away prizes for comments and likes so the more you comment and the more you hit that like and that love button as you're watching these lives the better your chance at a prize so make sure you are saying something when you pop on so you don't miss out at your chance for a prize and again just a reminder to share this video for a chance at the big fabulous prize that i give away every week um the other thing is further down on my page i have a link to a gorgeous card that I made using the In the Pines bundle. Um, if we have time, I'm gonna make that card with you today. Let's see if I can, this card here, I'll show you when the video flips around again. I entered a creative challenge and if you love my card, I would love it if you would go there. There's a link in that um, blog post and vote for me. I'm so excited, I love creative challenges. Okay, let's talk a little bit. I'm trying something new here. Hey, that worked pretty slick. Let me move my mouse out of the way. Okay, so here is the card that I made for that creative challenge. We've got three layers going on here. I'm hoping that we'll have time for me to make this card for you today. I've got everything cut and ready to go, so if we have time, we will do that. And speaking of blends, here is the super adorable treat box that I am making for everybody on my team at work. I colored in this pumpkin and started blending more than just the lights and the darks. So I used some Daffodil Delight light pumpkin pie and dark pumpkin pie. And it gives this pumpkin's face um, a little bright pop of uh, light as if there was a candle um, shining there so I just want to encourage you if you haven't played around with blends um, and multiple colors that um, you try doing that and if you want me to do a class for you on one of my lunchtime lives or another time that works for you I'd be show you what I have learned with blends. Just post it in the comments if that's something you love um, and I will set some. All right. Um, looking at my notes here. Okay, the other thing I want to remind you of is a We Designer Series paper sale going on right now. 
Um, select papers are 15 off. So 3, 6, and 12. There are 15 different Design Series paper stacks on site now. And I want to tell you that if you are not discount shopper and you would like to get that 20 cent discount, you can order these Design Series papers stacks as your starter kit order and get even more for your buck. So um, like this one for 978 instead of 1150, put more into your $125 product for your $99 order. All right, let's get stamping, you guys. I think that I've chatted your ear off long enough. And I'm super, super excited about what I have to show you today. All right. Now, on purpose, I have not completely cut and fitted all these card bases. Um, you see why? Ooh, a little sneak peek there. You're gonna see why I want to go to make this project. <clears throat> okay. I've got some inside layers here. I'm just gonna set these aside for now. We'll talk a minute about designer series paper, you guys. The cuts that we are making today, during the oh, I can remember the video. in this night, I believe designer series. Take a look at all these gorgeous patterns. They are just beautiful. They are so Halloween-ish. I absolutely love them. And you know, the thing about designer series paper is it has two view guides. But typically, when you put it on a card, you have a, you know, a back behind it, you can only see one side. Well, the layout I am going to show you today shows off both of those sides of the design series paper. We're going to do a little stamping too. I'm using the Every Essential um, Cling Stamp Set. What I love about this one is it's not just Halloween, it's not just Christmas. So I, um, you've got Christmas to the World Seasons Greetings, some some snowflakes for Christmas and Halloween, a quarter of pumpkin in the haunted house. You've got to do it in a from because this set um, coordinates with a new tag punch that we have. Oh, this one here, it fits in there perfectly. Um, in fact, that little tag is what's here for that pumpkin. Um, but there's also a little Valentine mine, a heart, and then an adorable, I think this would be so cute for a wedding card, two little birds under an umbrella that says you and me. So that's the stamp set we today. And I'm just going to do some of this away here for you guys. Okay, I have to get my note because I need the scissors, our card. All right. Any votes for what designer paper we're going to use? What should we use? Wires? Hmm. I think I want to use this one with the flowers. What do we think? Huh? You like that one? Okay. Now. When you get a designer series paper pack, the, I'll find it for you. This is how I store my open designer series papers. Um, I bought these on Amazon. They're just 12 by 12 little sheets that you can slip your um, paper into once it's open. When I have scraps, I just toss them down in there and they kind of stay in there. And I always save a back piece because it tells you the colors that are in the designer series paper. So if I'm wondering, what the heck is this bluish color? I can just go and look and here it's pretty cuck, okay? So that's a tip for changing your products and that's what I love about Stampin' Up! is they design all of their products matched together. You do not have to worry about matching the tones of your inks and your paper um, together because already designs it that way, okay? got a card base here. This half of a piece of eight and a half by 11 card stock. So when you cut it in half, it is five and a half is the short way and eight and a half is the long way. You fold it in half so that you end up with a card that's five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. Okay. This is a standard, I think it's A4. Now, I'm going to grab my cutter here because what we need to do is open this up. And I am going to line this folded edge up at, double check my notes, eight and a half, sorry, either way, I'm going to line the open edge up at three and a half inches. Okay. And then I'm going, to, so I'm left with this little scrap we'll set aside and use another line. And then I'm left this folded card base with a little tiny strip on the top. Okay. Now designer series paper. 
I've already cut for you. This is four inches by five and a half inches. And what we're gonna do is take our liquid glue. I like to use liquid glue for this because it's pretty strong and you're gonna see that this ends up being our card front. I don't want to access come undone. So I want to use that strong liquid glue. Okay, you line that designer series paper up. You're gonna set it on top of your card base and you are gonna line up all the edges and we're going to fold this top part over and adhere it to our designer series paper piece. I think you guys are kind of seeing this all red panning out. We're actually already almost done this card, you guys. Now I want a good crease there. So I'm just going to make that as nice and adhered. We already have our card base created and it. Do you see how when I open it, now you've got this other gorgeous paper of designer series paper on the inside. Of course, you know me. I like to bling this up a little bit. So I'm going to take and do a little bit of stamping with these tiny dots from our stamp set. And I'm going to stamp them all along in the corner here. One more of my and a sucker for pretty ribbon so I have some ribbon here this ribbon is some of my favorite in the um, holiday catalog it is a glittered organdy ribbon and it's black and it's got these glistening specks in it I love it it is beautiful I'm just gonna cut a piece of that off I have made this big enough I have them to not make my ribbon big enough I think I want to put this down here near the bottom. Ah. This is not to cooperate with me. There we go. All right. And I'm just going to tie the knot. There we go. I don't want to go too tight because the designer series paper isn't quite as thick as um, our cardstock is. I just trim off the ends of this, like so. And you know, I can't just leave it like I do a little stamping. So let me grab a scrap of this for a here. <clears throat> I'm going to use the Haunted House because it has sentiment on it. I don't want to get that card too busy. Our, um, designer these paper pattern and our stamping right so I don't want to add too much to that card front all right I'm using my two quart inch circle punch I'm just gonna punch this out and now let's do a little dark black berry bliss And I'm just kind of paying attention to where the shadows of this ribbon would be. If I were to see this ribbon kind of curled up in real life, where would I see the dark pieces of the ribbon and where would it be a little bit lighter? And then I come in with my light Blackberry Bliss. Let's fill in the rest and finish coloring. Well, these colors blend when they're wet. So you don't want to know what's left. You want to go back to this dark um, pieces that you colored in and bring that color in, okay? We're adding just a pop of our blackberries to go with the card base and cord all together. Pop this up on a couple of nationals. And we're almost done with our card here. That's how simple this is. There we go. And then we open, we can see the other side of our gold paper. Now you know that I can't leave the inside of my card you guys. So I've got whisper white here. And we're just gonna use these bits. Stamp a few of those in the corner. 
and then you could write whatever you wanted to write in the center, send it off to your friend and tell them to have a beautiful day and that you're thinking of them or just write and have Halloween. Of course, there are plenty of other sentiments in our stamp set that you could include there. Now, the inside layer of this card is going to be five and a quarter by four inches. So we just leave an eighth of an inch border on the outside of that white card. Is that gorgeous? And super simple, you guys. This card came together in five minutes. If you love it, show love. Let me know that you love this design. Um, here's one I made using some blends. A little sentiment that says Halloween. I put the ribbon on the top of this one instead. So you get a couple different looks here. And here's one I made as I was playing around with those bats. I added a few embellishments to this one too. And then you've got roses on the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, super easy. Absolutely love it. It comes together so quickly. And you can get home. Remember, I'm giving away that card kit. Don't forget to fill up that door prize entry form. I've got some time to make one. What do you think? You want to make one more card? <clears throat> Let's move on to our Christmas card. I want to show you how I together um, the beautiful layers of this Christmas card. This one here. Oops, there we go. Okay, I've got my serious here, and um, I just want to show you, I made 15 of these cards. And honestly, it is kind of a pain to stamp your trees and then try to die cut them and get them all matched up. So what I did was, I made myself a big through and I was cranking my music, and I just die cut a bunch of white trees and figuring I can come back in and stamp these later. Um, and it was so way than trying to line up um, my die cutting better with these trees. Now once um, cut out, I used a template and I just pop these trees back in the bowl. I already have this set up. It's so easy to stamp. I've got my um, messier holding my love cardstock on all the way to the edge of both sides. And I'm just going to ace up. Okay, now, do not fret. These pieces stuck to um, the card. No big deal. I just grab it and pull it off. See, nothing smudged. Pull it off. No big deal. Okay, I can see you kill time and time and time again in the columns of these die cuts, okay? I already have die cut some of the beautiful trees from the evergreen forest and black boulder. And all we have left to do now here is to construct our card, put it together. So I'm just gonna glue these layers together. The part I really wanna show you is how to get that multi-layer effect. Um, with those trees. All right. And I can a stitch circle. I already have this cut for you guys. I did not know if I would have time to make a card or not. And I'm just going to slip this in here. And we're going to snip off the end. I flipped around, snipped off that end so that it's not peeking out over the edge of our card. All right, now, here is how I construct these layers. I took my first tree and glued it down. You know me, I love the liquid glue. Okay, put it down. So there's our first layer. Now for the second layer, I'm going to use some mini dimensionals here. Um, on the upper part, and then I'll use normal red dimensionals here for the lower part of the card. There's plenty of room for that. <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be a dimensional. This is super easy. You all know how to do this part, right? So now we've got a, here a, a popped up layer compared to the regular tree. On top of this grouping of trees here, there's another layer on top of this, right? But here's the conundrum I find myself in. This is going to be on top of another layer of the dimensional, and this is going to be on the flat part of the card. So, here is how we solve that. Our two trees, we're going to be up on top of this tree, and our third tree, 
was going to be at that surface. And so we've already got one dimensional popping this one up. So we need to make a third tree on the flat surface and meet the same height as the other areas. So we've got one dimensional, then we'll add another one. So that means I need to have two dimensionals under this third tree. Now we come in, we put that on here, and it's all even. And then again, just let me see if I have a strip here. I already stamped my greeting. You have a strip of a greeting you just tuck in. I'm going to cut off the edge, cut off a little bit of this edge. And I'm just going to tuck that in here underneath that second layer. And this was as easy as sliding under here and securing the dimensional. And your card's pretty much done at this point. <clears throat> there you have it. I wanted to demonstrate that because I've been getting a lot of questions about how I create multiple layers and how it look um, so even and not like all over the place. So I hope that was really helpful for those who wanted to um, this card in their collection. All right, wrap up my live here. <clears throat> here are our adorable Halloween cards. Remember, you can win a card kit, fill out that door prize form. Um, here's the Christmas card that I shared with you guys. Thank you so much for watching me live today and stamping with you. I hope that you're here next week. Same place, same time. I'm going to be stamping over lunch hour again. And also, I hope you will join me here. Let me check the date. Um, it is going to be on October 19th, October 19th, I am going to do a mystery stamping event, um, here on my page, um, but it's going to be double the mystery, double the fun. So make sure that you are watching my page for more details about that. Um, I think you're going to have really a lot of fun doing that. So mark your calendars. I will be setting up the event shortly. I'm so excited for this. I'm really excited. All right. One last look at these cards that we made today. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Love them. Thank you again for joining me today. Share that video. I will see you here next. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh, I'm wrapping up and I just realized, you guys, I'm talking about how you can win prizes. I never picked, I never did my door prize winners. So, comments, likes, shares from last week. Winnie Spano, you win the moose card that I made on last week's live. Thank you for engaging with me. And then um, another prize for likes and comments, engaging with me, this beautiful oak leaf card. Bardwick, you are the winner of this card. Um, Winnie and Berna, I do not have your addresses, so if you could send me a message with your address, that would be awesome. And now the big prize for sharing my video. Thank you so much for sharing. Share Rush. I think her last name is Rush. Maybe it's Rush. But you are the winner of these rhinestone basic jewels. Thank you so much for sharing my video. Um, I need your address as well. So you guys, um, Berna, Winnie, and Cher, why don't you reach out to me during, uh, with a private message, get your address, so that I can send these out to you. Um, you could try to get that to me by the end of the week. That would be great. Otherwise, my prices pile up and I'm a little too behind. Okay, for real, I'm off for now, you guys. I hope a great rest of your day, and I will see you here next week. Bye!